guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are gonna be doing some freezer cooking. Um, but first, if you're new here, my name is Samantha. I am a daycare provider and a mama to five. Um, and it is Saturday. It's a very gloomy, rainy Saturday. I'm in my office right now because this is the only quiet place to film in this house. Um, it's about 7.30, 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, and I decided I wanted to freezer cook today. Um, so I'm going to show you guys what we're going to be making. Um, if you are new here and you don't know, I care for, I feed about nine to 11 kids every day, um, including my own kids. Um, so I need to prepare as much as possible ahead of time, make everything, you know, as smooth and streamlined as possible during the day. So I'm going to turn you guys around. I'm going to show you what we're going to be making. And then we're just going to get to cooking and I will check in with you guys throughout the day showing you my progress. I forgot to mention I'm also going to be going back on the keto diet. I know, I know you guys are tired of hearing it. Sure, Sam. Oh, you guys see myself tan hands. Oh my gosh. Real life here. Um, so, and I just realized my foundation doesn't match either. We just hot mess on this Saturday morning. Um, but I am going to be going back on keto. So today I'm going to be prepping some keto meals. Um, and I'm going to be prepping like keto freezer meals for myself that I can just quickly pull out almost like TV dinners. I can pull out, I can warm up in the oven, uh, while I'm making the other kids food or while I'm making the kids food. Um, just so I stay on track. I'm going to be making breakfast, uh, lunch and dinners and, um, a couple of side dishes. So now I'm going to show you what we're going to be making today. All right, so I made this like handy dandy little cheat sheet for myself. Um, I have been watching Jamarelle's um, Large Family Table, and so she uses a whiteboard. I'm actually gonna use this little cheat sheet. Um, so for breakfast, we're gonna make pancake bites, which is just essentially pancakes in a mini muffin tin. I like to make those, they're very easy, and the kid, they're like a novelty. The kids really like them. Um, I'm also going to make muffins. I'm going to make at least blueberry muffins. I don't think I have any bananas, so I think I'm just going to do blueberry. Um, I'm going to make some French toast, and then I'm going to make keto breakfast burritos and biscuits with sausage, which is also keto. So I'm going to work on that for breakfast. For lunches, I bought about four um, loaves of bread, so I'm going to make PB&J, um, and then I'm going to make some pizza crust to have on hand. Um, both fat head pizza crust and regular pizza crust and then for dinners uh, for my keto dinners I'm gonna make a roast with green beans um, some taco soup um, some mini meatloafs so that is gonna be my keto dinners and then for the rest of the family I'm gonna make chicken enchiladas sloppy joe mix um, chicken spaghetti a sour cream noodle bake and crock pot barbecue meatballs and then for my side dishes, I'm going to make loaded cauliflower mash and cauliflower mac and cheese. So that is, hold on, let me turn you guys around. So that is the plan for today. I feel like I am being a little bit overzealous and think I can get all this done. I don't have all day. Um, we are going to see a movie at 3 o'clock, my hubby and I, because somehow we managed to get all the kids up out of the house for a night. Um, we like split them <laughs> between people like my mom was gonna take um, two of them and then my husband's mom and sister are gonna take uh, the other two and then my stepdaughter is already at uh, his mom's house so it just worked out that we had no kids this weekend um, or tonight so we're gonna go on a date and we're gonna enjoy that and yeah, so I'm gonna get to freezer cooking. I'm just gonna set you guys up and let you watch, and then I will check in as I'm getting things done.
All right, you guys, it is literally 1.51 and this is the only thing I've gotten done. <laughs> so I got the roast in the crock pot. This is gonna be for my lunches. It's just roast, um, like a chuck roast with some green beans and some onion. Um, and that's gonna be my keto-ish lunches. So yeah, now I have a ton of other work to do. Sorry for the noise, that's my microwave. I got my chicken on the boil. This is, I wanna say it's like six pounds of chicken, something like that. Um, yeah, six pounds, oh no, eight pounds of chicken in here. This is for my chicken spaghetti and my chicken, I don't remember what the other one was, sorry. Um, my other chicken, oh, chicken enchiladas. And then I may use a little bit for some keto chicken pot pie. So I just put the chicken with uh, water, a thing of chicken broth, some poultry seasoning, lots of garlic, because I love garlic, uh, and salt. And I believe that was it. I might throw some onion powder in here and I'm just gonna let this boil until it is ready. Um, and then I'm going to let it cool and then shred it for my casseroles. Okay, so I ran into a little bit of trouble. I need to make this low carb taco soup for myself, but I only have one crock pot. I did not think that through, and it is currently being occupied with the roast. So what I'm gonna do is i am got some ground beef going for Sloppy Joe's. I'm actually gonna take some of this and put it in this pan, but what I'm gonna do first is take some of the grease and put it in here and saute some onion and, oops, sorry, Saute some <laughs> onion and garlic. Let me wipe you off here. Boom. Uh, saute some onion and garlic in there and then transfer some of the meat over. And then I will add the rest of the ingredients and just cook it on low on my stove. So that is the progress that I'm making. So half of this will go towards this taco soup. Half will go into, or for um, Sloppy Joe's. You guys can probably hear the big storm outside. My chicken is still chugging along here it's not anywhere close to being done but it is chugging along so yeah that is where we are in our process okay so I ran into a little bit of trouble I need to make this low carb taco soup for myself but I only have one crock pot I did not think that through and it is currently being occupied with the roast so what I'm gonna do is I'm got some ground beef going for Sloppy Joe's, I'm actually gonna take some of this and put it in this pan, but what I'm gonna do first is take some of the grease and put it in here and saute some onion and, oops, sorry, saute some <laughs> onion and garlic. Let me wipe you off here. Boom. Uh, saute some onion and garlic in there and then transfer some of the meat over 
and then I will add the rest of the ingredients and just cook it on low on my stove. So that is the progress that I'm making. So half of this will go towards this taco soup, half will go into, or for um, Sloppy Joe's. You guys can probably hear the big storm outside. My chicken is still chugging along here. It's not anywhere close to being done, but it is chugging along. So yeah, that is where we are in our process. soup it is ready to just simmer I just put the ground beef some onion garlic the cream cheese um, some chicken broth two cans of Rotel and then some Goya the stuff I don't want to mispronounce it and offend anyone um, the stuff is so good so 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 good and I got a huge package of it um, about a month ago at Costco or Sam's Club something like that for like four dollars so I have so much it's great for rice it's great for any of my Mexican dishes. So I'm gonna put the lid on this. I'm gonna let it simmer for quite a while until it's kind of come together. And I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna start seasoning. You can see, hey, look, look this is real life. I dropped the little um, paper piece from the Goya seasoning in there. Um, uh, I'm gonna season this. This is gonna be uh, sloppy joe mix. I'm actually gonna drain it off and then um, season it. So. That is the progress, and quick check on the chicken. It is still trucking along over there. Turn it up, turn it up, turn it up, turn it up. So I'm done with the Sloppy Joes. It looks like this. They don't taste a whole lot like Sloppy Joe. When I heat it up, I may add some barbecue sauce, um, but they're really good. I didn't get like the Manwich ones or the Manwich, Manwich mix. Um, I just seasoned it myself with some mustard, ketchup, onion, peppers, um, garlic, some other stuff. I don't know. You'll see it. Some brown sugar. Um, this is not for me. This is for the kiddos or for my 
uh, just for my family whenever they eat. I got these bowls on Amazon. I actually originally was going to use these as, as like individual soup bowls for myself for my taco soup. I did not realize how big these are. <laughs> so they are pretty large, like that's my hand. I'm not like a giant or anything. So they're pretty large bowls and I think I got all of these for $19 or $14, something like that. And there's um, 10 of them in there. So um, I thought this was a good deal. So I'm gonna let this cool. I'm gonna put the lid on it. I'm gonna label it and I'm gonna throw it in my deep freeze. Okay guys, so we're gonna start on the keto meatloaf. I have some onion cut up, some celery, um, and then I have my um, natural ground beef here. I'm gonna make mini keto meatloafs, and this is from Delish, I believe. Delish.com, is that what it's called? Um, I don't know, but uh, this just has um, we're gonna basically saute the onion and the celery and some garlic. We're gonna season it up, we're gonna assemble and throw it in the oven. So that is what we are doing now. So we are finishing up the veggies. This is the onion, the celery, and the garlic, just sauteing. Um, I put some chili powder on it, some oregano, and some salt, and that's gonna finish cooking, and then we're going to assemble our meatballs.
So I am done with the keto meatloaf. I was able to get, what, nine of them. Um, these are like big giant muffin tins um, and they are filled to the brim. So this will probably be like two servings per thing, depending on how hungry I am. So nine, not too bad. That was just um, one uh, recipe or one, whatever you call it, one serving of the recipe. Um, so I'm gonna stick these in the oven and then I'm going to start shredding that chicken. Don't mind all this, this is just real life. Let, let, let's, let's get a real life look at what it looks like to freeze or cook. Here you go, here you go, here you go. Yep, yep. Oh look, and here's all my ingredients on the little kid's table. Mm-hmm, yep. meatballs or the sweet and sour meatballs. I did go ahead and put the sauce on them. I'm gonna cover it with with um, foil and put it in the deep freeze. So um, this will be super easy to just pop out, throw in the oven when I need a quick meal, serve it with some jasmine rice or brown rice and some veggies, and I am good to go. Hello, I don't think you've seen my face since this morning. So, um, progress update, it is three something. Um, we had a little bit of a fluke because our power went out for a second, so the oven reset and all that. Um, it is, it has been storming. Um, we were actually going to go to a movie tonight. We were gonna go see Shazam, at, actually during the day, because we're old, uh, at like three o'clock, but we had torrential downpours, like the wind was really bad. I didn't think our trampoline was going to make it. Um, so we just decided to nix it. All of our kids are gone. 
So we have the whole house to ourselves to kind of do what we want to do. Um, he's been playing video games. <laughs> I have been cooking and doing my freezer cooking in peace, watching vlogs. And so that is what we're doing. He just left to go to Olive Garden and pick up our dinner, which I'm super excited about. And I am still cooking. I don't know that I'm gonna finish all this tonight. I'm gonna try my best, but my right foot has been giving me a lot of issues lately and it is hurting and I still have quite a bit to do. So I think the plan, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish, um, I got my handy dandy list. I'm gonna finish all the dinners like assembly and throwing them in the deep freeze. And that might be it. I might make the PB and J sandwiches while I'm sitting because my foot hurts really bad. So I think that's what I'm gonna end up doing. Uh, just make it easy on myself. I'm looking a hot mess right now, sorry. But I'm making some progress. It's just like slow and steady. I don't have anybody to really answer to. So I'm just kind of taking my time and enjoying it. Um, I'm a little bit freaked out by all the dishes. Who's going to do all these dishes? It's going to be me. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have to get on it and get moving. I still need to assemble the chicken enchiladas. I need to assemble the chicken spaghetti. I got the crock pot barbecue meatballs done. I have the sour cream noodle bake, which I'm honestly thinking about not even making because that would require me to make more ground beef. And I don't know that I want to do that right now. Um, that may be saved till tomorrow. I don't know, we're gonna see. But I will keep checking in with you guys. I'm not very good at filming these freezer meal things, but I'm trying, I like get going on something and then I'm like, oh my gosh, I forgot to film. <laughs> or I'm like filming and I'm like, I'm not doing anything. That's just wasted footage. So I have to go in, delete, blah, blah, blah. So we're gonna get back on it. <laughs> chicken and I got like two chicken breasts in and I totally forgot I can use my hand mixer to shred so I went ahead and put the rest in a bowl and shredded it with my hand mixer it is done so I'm going to combine these two and I'm going to start to assemble my chicken enchiladas and my chicken spaghetti okay you guys we are trucking along here taking my hair down because you know um I am going to actually wrap it up, not the video, just the cooking for today. I'm really tired and my foot is hurting super, super bad. Um, it is only 6.30, so I still have lots and lots of time um, before the night is up, but I just kind of wanted to sit and rest and get some other things done. Um, so I'm going to show you what I got done and then um, we will resume in the morning. Okay, so I got three chicken spaghettis done. So those are gonna go in the deep freeze. I still have this big pan of the chicken that I shredded. I'm gonna use that tomorrow to make the chicken enchiladas. Um, I don't mind the mess here, I gotta clean up. I got two things of my keto taco soup and then I have the big thing of taco meat. I'm gonna end up making the um, sour cream noodle casserole today with or tomorrow with that. Um, I feel like I really didn't get much done, but I know I did. Um, I put all the little meat, um, the meatloaf muffins, the keto meatloaf muffins in there. I got the sloppy joe mix done. And then I had my husband put something out in the um, garage. I still have my roast going here. It is um, looking good. And yeah, that's going to be it 
for today. I'm really tired. So I'm going to get, whoa, you guys are super close. I'm going to get um, all of these dishes done. Not a lot because I've already put a bunch of them away. I'm going to get those done and then I'm going to sit. I may make the PB&J um, Uncrustable freezer sandwiches while I'm sitting. I may not. I may just do nothing because I don't get much time without the kiddos. So um without all of them at once so i'm gonna sit and rest and probably get some youtube work done so i will see you guys in the morning all right you guys it is sunday morning and i am not gonna show you my face because uh yeah it's a hot mess still a makeup on from last night um i am currently finishing up the french toast i have it all here we ate some of this for breakfast as well as some bacon. I used two of these um, perfectly crafted thick sliced white bread. Um, I was gonna use like the cheapy ones but I think this worked way better and I couldn't find Texas toast. So that is what this is and once I have it in the oven just keeping it warm, once it's all done I'm gonna cut it into slices and uh, or like into sticks and freeze it as French toast sticks for daycare. Um, that way I can just pop them out and heat them up in the microwave and don't have to worry about cooking all this on a daycare morning because we are not allowed to have anything frying in a pan while daycare kids are here. So I got my griddle going. I'm almost done with this and then we're going to move on to muffins. I have some banana muffins I need to make. Um, I'm thinking about making French toast muffins, I mean French toast muffins, my goodness Samantha, uh, blueberry muffins because I do have some blueberries um, and yeah I wanted to show you guys a um, little quick tip for you. This has nothing to do with the video but hey I go to my local Kroger every single Sunday morning or most Sunday mornings and go to their clearance section. They always have tons and tons of stuff on clearance on Sunday so I was able to get like cans of fruit cocktail for this won't focus sorry guys for 33 cents I was able to get these diced green pepper and onions for 28 cents and then I got some chicken which I already put away it's like fresh chicken for $1.50 I got these fiber one brownies for 80 cents I got these unstoppables for 88 cents I got lots of peanut butter because we use tons of peanut butter for 59 cents. And this is the reason they mark them down. They're like crushed. I don't care, all my stuff, I mean, you guys have seen my pantry. All my stuff goes into like a bigger container anyway. So I got these, my kiddos love these kinds of things for 45 cents and it just encourages them to drink more water. Um, I did get some overripe bananas. These are like 88 cents for a big pack of them um, since I'm making banana muffins anyways. Um, what else did I get? I got some flaxseed for smoothies for 53 cents. And then I was able to get some of these. These are the vitamin, Kroger vitamin enhanced waters. And these were 39 cents. So um, that's a quick tip. If you are looking for um, discounted groceries, try your local store early in the morning. Um, mine does it on Sunday. You may ask somebody at your local store when they do theirs. Um, mine does it on Sunday. I have been able to get tons of like meat and um, <clears throat> uh, canned things and snacks for my kiddos and all that for a pretty discounted price. Actually, oh my gosh, y'all see that flop there? Oh my, okay, I'm gonna put this down for one second. All right, catastrophe avoided. They're all good in there. Um, but I wanted to continue with that. I was able to pick up this ground beef yesterday. This is the Simple Truth Natural Ground Beef, and it was on sale for $1.75. These are normally $5.99 a pound, so I picked up 30 pounds of this. This is That's how many they had on clearance, and I put it in my deep freeze. You can see it's frozen now, um, and I can use this throughout the month. This will probably last us a month. Uh, 30 pounds of ground beef uh, will last us about a month between daycare and between um, my family. So I was able to get that, and then one more quick tip, don't mind my disorganized freezer. Um, Walmart has, they mark down their breads and stuff, like this was reduced on 517. They mark down their fresh breads. I just grab it and throw it in my freezer. It was 50 cents um, and I can just pull this out and make bruschetta or make Italian bread. So don't be afraid of those clearance 
um, racks, as long as you have the freezer space, um, it's a good way to save some money. So I'm gonna get on with my cooking. I'm gonna start making some muffins now and I will set you guys up. Okay guys, so I have all of my bananas in here. This is about three bunches. It's a pretty big bowl. I'm gonna use my hand mixer here to mix all of it up. Don't mind the mess. Um, to blend it up and kind of mash it. And then I'm gonna put some in here for muffins. I wanted to show you, I got this Krusty's Classic Muffin Mix last year. Um, this is a Just Add Water Mix and I got it from Sam's Club. They were on closeout or clearance, whatever you wanna call it, at Sam's Club for 41 cents. So I got a ton of the, well not a ton, I think I got like four or five boxes. And I just use it as I need muffins. I also use the small, um, I don't remember the name of it, uh, the small little packages from the store, but when I make like big um, amounts of muffins, I use this. I cannot make muffins for that cheap, like homemade muffins, like the flour and all that, um, for 41 cents for a huge, huge, huge box. Um, but this does expire later this year, so I need to get this stuff made. I don't want to waste it. So I have the rest of that one in here. I have this one and I have that one. So I'm going to do some banana muffins. <clears throat> I'm gonna do some banana muffin bites, um, as well as like regular size muffins. And then I have my blueberries over here and I'm gonna do the same, just mix these up with my hand mixer and use them for blueberry bites, um, blueberry muffin bites, um, blueberry muffins, and probably some blueberry pancake bites. Those are great for daycare. Um, it's much easier than cooking pancakes and the kids like anything like small, <laughs> um, bite size. So I'm gonna go ahead and make those. You better turn up You better be there when I shake Watch me rockin' if I can't stop I have my banana muffins and then I made some banana blueberry muffins I'm gonna let those bake and I'm gonna get some mini muffins going as well and then we're gonna move on to pancake bites <laughs> It's having a hard time focusing. Two banana breads ready to go. I'm about to start assembling enchiladas. And yes, we do, my family likes flour tortillas. They are not fans of corn tortillas, so I make them with flour. Um, this is all the chicken that I made yesterday. I'm about to heat it up in the pan with some peppers and onions and season some of it for the enchiladas. 
I have some blueberry pancake mix. Um, I just, for those of you who have asked, I just used this Members Mark buttermilk pancake mix from Sam's Club. It's like $5 for 10 pounds. Um, and then I just add my own stuff. And it's a just add water one, so you don't have to have milk or anything like that. Um, and then I just add in my blueberries and I put them in these little mini muffin tins. You see my dirty oven? I have some banana um, muffins going there. But I put them in these little mini muffin tins and I take them out and they are just literally mini pancake bites. And they're awesome for breakfast, especially even for my like little, little ones. Um, they really, really like them. And they're good for snacks. I can uh, pull them out and heat them up in the microwave really, really quick. So I have those done. I also have mini banana muffins, <laughs> mini uh, uh, big blueberry banana muffins, and then regular banana muffins. I actually try to use my um, my little sealer over there, my vacuum sealer, and it kind of smushed them. So I'm just gonna do them like this. I don't have a ton of space in my freezer, um, which kind of stinks. I just cleaned out my freezer to see how much space I had. I should have done that. So I'm not sure how the, if I'm gonna be able to do PB and J. I'm gonna try, but we'll see. I still need to make my noodle bake. I still need to get these enchiladas assembled. And then I also am gonna do, or was gonna do breakfast burritos. I'm not sure about that. I wanna at least make mine, like my keto ones, um, because I need something quick on hand. And then I wanna make these keto uh, biscuits with sausage. I don't know if that's gonna happen. I am at least gonna make some fathead dough to put in the freezer for myself. And I do want to go ahead and make these and then I'm gonna make myself like individual little um, freezer dinners. So all that's left is chicken enchilada, sour cream bake. Um, I already got the rest of this stuff done. I need to make these, I need to make these and I need to make some pizza crust and that's it guys. I mean, I think I've done pretty well. Um, so we're just gonna keep on rolling. Sorry. <laughs> okay, I wasn't gonna show you my face because I'm a hot mess. Like, I'm like sweating right now and I have no makeup on. Um, so yeah, that's my day. No, ma'am. Okay, I lied. I could not not do these. Um, I know like if I, that's not my Wendy's cup, don't worry. I know if I don't like pre-cook for keto, I'm not gonna stay on keto. So. I'm making the sausage patties and then I have my cream cheese and my mozzarella in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and make these keto bre breakfast biscuits. So I'm gonna microwave the cream cheese and mozzarella in the microwave, obviously, for 30 seconds at a time. And then we're gonna, in a separate bowl, add the egg and the almond flour, it says. So I will just set you guys up and let you <laughs>
done. I have the almond flour and whatever, the eggs, and then the cream cheese and the mozzarella cheese all mixed in here. I did put a little bit of sage and some garlic powder in here, and now I'm gonna go ahead and make the keto biscuits. All right, these are done. They're a little bit, these are the keto biscuits. I took the top off of this. They're really, really good. They have the sausage cheese and then it's kind of, it's not, oh, it's kind of a fat head dough. It's really, really good. Um, so I got what, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 out of those. That will last me the whole week. They're a little bit overdone because we found um, baby bunnies buried or buried, like burrowed in our backyard. So we got a little distracted. Um, but I'm gonna let these cool and then I'm gonna put them up and that's gonna be it for this freezer cooking video. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Hey, bro, don't you look at that. I said, my friend, what you looking at?